In this tutorial, we'll look at this little chain link in here. Now, there's chain link tutorials all over the web for years, but it uh, and you should be fairly familiar with how to do it if you've watched my Blender 2.6 Game Engine Physics playlist, because I basically show you details in there. But if it's not obvious, I'll make a few pointers. But let's run it right now, real quick, and see what it does. It just hangs down off of this top link down there. But you see, it's breaking free, right there. All right, so there's a few things you can try and do. Is one up here, you notice I'm in the world tab right there, and you can try and change these physics steps in here. Actually, I have them cranked up right now, and it still didn't help it. Let's see, even dropping it down. So, so that didn't work, so let's try something else. Let's move this out of the way, and let's take this. This was a curve that I, that I basically uh, made and turned into this little tube and it, actually if you run the simulation let's do it actually like this let's run it down here maybe if we can so you can see what I'm talking about maybe it'll catch it there yeah, it should be on there so it'll probably get on here and let's see what it does it hangs on but it, when it gets down to the center of this particular object it doesn't seem to hang on oh it's hanging on now that's funny because earlier attempts it didn't hang on. Now maybe okay, let's try it like this. Let's R. Let's oops. Let's rotate that a little bit like that. And we'll try it so it comes down at a faster rate. Oh, we'll just well we'll just try anything. We'll just see what happens here. Comes down. Oh, still. Oh, but it wants to break free there. Okay, so. All right, so then sometimes you can put other objects into the scene with it, maybe like that, and maybe that'll hold it. Oh, it doesn't hold it on that one. And that one. Okay, so the point is, it's kind of difficult to do physics simulations. It's not an exact science, and so you have to tweak things as you go. And if you're not familiar with putting a chain link together, I'll just take a quick look at this real quick in wireframe mode. The notice in here, that one's static, of course, because that's in place, but let's look at one here. This one has, notice where my origin of the object is over here, and then that's where my radius is centered around that like that. So you can change that, and then that's how I was able to link them together. But it comes down to, I've mentioned it before, it comes down to the radius, it comes down to the mass. In fact, I had cranked up the mass on this one. Let's turn that back down. I cranked up the mass because I actually have a logic brick associated with that top piece right there and if I didn't have the mass up enough it wouldn't pull everything else along in the chain so that's holding long that's holding there let me see if I move the arrow keys nope that's moving the arrow keys and that knocked it off so it's really hard sometimes to get a perfect I can't get it perfect but usually if you work at it enough you can get the simulation working well enough where you can record your frames and take them back into Blender Render and then make your animations so if you're having difficulty just don't worry about it just keep trying alright alright good luck in your animations and I'll see you in the next lesson